Hey there, my name is Allison. Welcome to the Tiny Herd, where we talk about everyday pet care for guinea pigs, rabbits, and other small pets. Today's video is going to be part three in a series I am doing on how to make fleece cage liners for your guinea pig cages. This is a five part series, so if you missed the first two parts of this, they will be linked down below. I highly recommend checking those out so you are up to speed on where we are. But in today's video, we are going to be cutting out all of the pieces that we need to make our liners. So we're gonna talk about what exactly we're going to make in this series. I'm gonna show you guys how I make patterns for everything, how I cut everything out, and we're gonna get everything ready for sewing. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys over to my cutting table here in a second and show you the patterns that I have cut out for making liners. But first let's talk about what we're actually going to be making during this series. So what I'm going to be focusing on in this series is making an actual set of liners, not beds and cozies. I might do some future tutorials on that, but I really wanna focus on the basics in this video. So what I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make is cage liners for the bottom of your cage. So for our purposes, I have two by five cages, so I will be making two two by three liners for each cage. I personally don't like to make liners bigger than two by four. I just think it starts being really difficult and bulky, harder to wash. So I'm going to be making two liners for each one of my cages. So I'm gonna be making six liners total, all of them two by three size. And then on top of that, I'm going to be making some two by two square pads. I will be making some one by one pads to go under water bottles and under tunnels and houses and that sort of thing. And then I will be making some one by two pads as well. So this will make a little bit more sense, I think, when I show you guys the patterns. But let's go ahead over to my cutting table and I'll show you guys exactly what we're going to cut out. All right guys, so we are over here at my cutting table and I have some patterns to show you guys. So again, I am making two by three liners for my cages so that they overlap for my two by five cages. So this is the pattern that I use to cut out my liners. It is 35 by 48 inches and that gives me enough room to cover the floor and then some extra. So when you are deciding what size you need for your cage liners. Measure the length and the width of your cage, figure out how many inches that is, and then I usually add like five to six inches onto that to account for the seam allowance for sewing it, and then that also allows for some shrinkage in the wash. That way I know that my, the floor of my cage is always going to be covered. I don't have to worry about it shrinking so much that it doesn't cover my cage. So for my two by threes, I do make them 35 inches by 48 inches. And then I do have a couple of other patterns here. So I have a 12 inch by 12 inch square and I use this for making cubes or my smaller pads. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make smaller pads using this. And then I have one that is 20 inches by 30 inches. This is what I use to make what I call my one by two pads. They're not actually one by two. They're a little bit bigger than that, but this is the size that I just like to make them so that they're a little bit bigger. So I have that one. And then last I have one that is 30 inches by 30 inches. And this is what I call my two by two, which it's not, it's again, a little bit bigger than a two by two, but it's pretty close. So. That is what I like to do. When I use these patterns, what I do is lay them out on my fleece and then I just cut around it. So that way I'm not trying to measure out my sizes every single time. I have a piece that I can just lay on it and cut around. You don't have to make pattern pieces, of course, if you are just getting started making liners. So what I would recommend doing is getting your ruler or tape measure, whatever you're using, measuring out your first piece and marking it with your pen and then cutting that piece out and then I would take that piece that you've already cut out of your fleece and however many you need of that one piece so say you're making two liners measure out on your fleece your 35 by 48 cut out that 34 35 by 48 piece of your fleece and then take that piece of fleece, lay it out on your fleece again to cut around it so that you have two of the same size and you don't have to measure every single time, if that makes sense. So you guys will see how I lay these out and cut around them, I'll show you guys that. But I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys over to the floor and we're gonna cut out all our fleece. 
All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is take our fleece and just spread it out, lay it out on the floor. I like to just find a big space and lay it out. Then I'm gonna take my pattern and lay it out on top of the fleece. Like I mentioned, if you don't have a pattern, then you would just measure out what size liner you needed at this point and then go ahead and cut that out. Then what you would do is take the first piece that you cut out and essentially use it the same way that I use my pattern. You would just lay it down on the fleece to cut around to cut out the remaining pieces that you need. This is just a little bit easier than measuring it out every single time because that can take a while, especially if you only have like a smaller ruler or yardstick. So I am just basically spreading this out, moving it around to cut out my liners. I will mention that I said when I first bought my fleece, when I took you guys to Joann's with me, that I bought five yards. I don't really know what I was thinking because five yards is not near enough to cover all three of my cages when they are two by fives. If you have one cage set that you are making that is a two by four or two by five, then five yards would be plenty to get you liners, pads, and cozies, but I am trying to make liners, smaller pads, some smaller liners, beds, cozies, cubes, all those different things out of this one type of fleece and I did not buy near enough. So in this video, I'm not going to be cutting out every single thing that I said I was going to be, but I'm cutting enough out to be able to show you guys how to sew this stuff. And I will be buying more fleece so that I can finish out my cage sets. But I just wanted to mention that it will probably look like I don't have near enough fleece and that is because I don't. So like I mentioned, I didn't have near enough fleece. So what I ended up getting cut out of the B fleece was four two by three liners, one two by two liner, two one by two liners. And then I did get five 12 inch pads cut out of this. And then actually with the remnants, I was able to cut out a lot of different pieces for different cozies that I won't be showing you guys in this series, but I really did end up getting as much as I possibly could out of this fleece, and then I did order more. So that is what I ended up being able to cut out, which is plenty for me to teach you guys how to do this, but like I said, I will be ordering more fleece to finish out the entire cage set. Next up, I am cutting out the liners that I need to be the backside of the two x three cage liners I am doing in the B fleece. I mentioned before that I like to do a pattern on the front and back of my actual cage liners for the floor of my cages. This just saves space because I don't really use solid colored liners and I don't wanna have a bunch of liners that have a solid color on the back since they take up so much space. So you just will see me cut out the two by three liners here to go with the B cage set.
Once I'm done with the two prints, I am moving on to the solid color fabric. I am using this for the backside of the smaller pads and then also for cozies. So in this video, you'll see me cut out the 30 by 30 for the two by two pad. And then I also cut out a couple of the one by twos and some of the 12 inch squares. Since I realized I didn't have enough fleece, my goal was to make sure that I cut out the pieces that I needed to sew some liners and the smaller pads so that I could actually show you guys how to do this stuff for this series. So you'll definitely get to learn how to make all of these things. I'm just not going to be able to make everything that I needed for my entire cage set, but we will make it work. And like I said, I ordered more fleece. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut out all of the solid color, and then we will move on to the U-Haul. Last but not least, I am cutting out the U-Haul pad. So these don't come in yardage like fleece does. It just comes as one pad. So I have to buy multiple of these to make my cage set, especially this cage set with all of the cages. So from this one pad, I ended up getting two two by three liners and then I did a two by two and then a couple of one by twos and some 12 inch pads. So I, Obviously had to have more than one of these for this entire cage set, but I did get everything cut out that I needed to show you guys how to make liners. So that is what I am cutting out here. Alright guys, so here is where we are in the process. So for this series, I'm focusing on making the B print set, but as I mentioned, I like to put a print on either side of my big liners that are on the floor of my cage. So I did go ahead and cut out my ocean print as well, just so that I had it cut out because this will go on the back of the big 2x3 liners of the B print. And then between the two of these prints, I'm using this blue color as the solid on the back of my smaller pads and my cozies. So like I mentioned, I realized that I did not buy near enough fleece for this particular set that I'm trying to do. Again, if you were trying to just do one cage worth, one two by five cage worth of fleece, the five yards that I bought would be perfectly fine, but for making three cages, extra small pads, cozies, all of that, five yards was not near enough for three cages. So 
I just wanted to mention that this is what I was able to get out of the fleece that I bought. So I have ordered more fleece, ordered more U-Haul, and this is where we are. So in the next video, I will show you guys how I set this all up for sewing and we will get sewing our liners. All right guys, so we have all of our pieces cut out. So I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss the rest of the series. And again, I will link the first couple videos down below if you missed those. But we have all of our pieces cut out. The next step is going to be actually laying out and sewing our liners. So if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.